Did you at the beginning of the season, uh, managerial change, uh, a, a new season, and at the end of the season, there we kept hearing things about oh, they're they're drinking beer in the clubhouse, they're they're having a picnic in the clubhouse. The ball game's not finished, and guys are back there having a picnic in the clubhouse. The chicken, the chick <laughs> beer and chicken in the damn clubhouse. <laughs> it doesn't sound that bad. Who doesn't like beer and chicken? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> This is American as baseball and beer and chicken. But now, uh, but now the, the team looks up to you. This is a, a different team, and maybe, I can't really be the judge of this, it, in terms of talent, overall talent, maybe not as big a force in baseball as uh, the previous teams that won, won the World Series. Is that fair to say about you're the right, team? You're right. You're right. But we have guys with huge heart, mm -hmm. guys that are, whenever you give them the opportunity to play, they will give everything they have. And, and whenever you roll like that, you're definitely going to have things happening. Yeah. And, and the thing with the beards, uh, that must have gotten, I bet it was fun the first 10 days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of this going on. Holy Yeah, I God started itching after, after a while, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you got to lay your at bat, you got to lay your beard on your shoulder. Just... <laughs> Uh, and, 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 but you spoke to the team, you, you called them together in the dugout, uh, this was in St. Louis. What did you say to them then? Well, I basically came out with, with the experience that I have and, and we've been playing together all year and I saw a um, couple of players just kind of a little tight at the time and, and I basically let them know that you don't come to the World Series every day. Mm. You know, it's, it's, this is an special moment and you want to give everything you have and and it's, it's one time in life kind of type of thing. Have you, have you ever had uh, a series of games where your batting average and performance uh, on the field, your batting average uh, close to 700, have you ever had a, like a two-week stretch in the regular season like that? I had some good weeks. I just don't know if they were 700. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, were you? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your, uh, your father and uh, your boyhood, your neighborhood friend that got you I into baseball. You, you originally were more interested in basketball, am I right about yeah, that? Yeah, I used to love basketball. I mean, mm -hmm. when I was growing up, who doesn't want to be like Mike? Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I was a huge fan of basketball. I still, I, I still love basketball. Sometimes I come once in a while and watch basketball game over there. But uh, I had this friend. Wait, wait, what's the team in Boston? Is it still the Celtics? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> but what, what did, your dad played some baseball. What, what, what did that do for you as a kid? My dad, I never watched my dad playing baseball, but he encouraged me big time to uh, begin to be a baseball player. It was something that he, uh, he, uh, he saw when I was a kid, uh, I thought he was crazy, yeah. but he was right, you know. He, he established for you three uh, possible goals. One, get, them big get to the big league. Two, go to the All-Star game. And number three. And winning a World Series. Well, there you go, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, you're... Where you get that from? <laughs> I don't know. I was, we keep a stare back there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your series MVP, David Ortiz. Congratulations. Thank you Enjoy very much. your off season.